Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we are doing another Forzathon guide. This week's Forzathon called Group B wants you to use the 1987 Porsche 959 to complete all of these challenges uh, and they're actually fairly easy and they have been done before uh, so they've started to repeat some of their previous Forzathons but anyway let's have a look at the actual car itself. Now if you buy it from the auto show it's about just under half a million credits but if you pick it up in the auction house you can pick it up for a lot less um, I have created a tune for it it's called Forzathon Easy uh, spelled EZ uh, and hopefully it should help you guys out complete some of these challenges so without further ado let's get stuck into the first challenge which wants you to win three dirt trail events um, now it seems a bit weird in a Porsche 959 but don't worry I've got you on this one so if you just filter to your dirt trail events you can see that some of them are scramble and some of them are trail but you've got to make sure that you hit the trail one but I have created one for you guys to use specifically for this event, which will save you a lot of time and hassle. So if you go to up to the Glen Rannock trial up here um, and then go across, I've created one called Forzathon Easy um, and you can type it in via my name. Um, I forgot to get the share code for you, but if you just type in my gamer tag, it will pop up for you. Uh, and then all you have to do is win this three times it's actually very very easy i've done my usual trick of just sending the ai off onto their own little adventure um so it'll take you literally 10 seconds a lap so it'll take longer to load the race than it will actually take to well race the race um but it's nice and easy and it will get you that first challenge done very quickly now the next one wants you to win two street scene events on top of the dirt trail ones so if you filter just to street scenes you'll see all the ones you've got available for you now the one i always use is the bath and gate one as i'm sure you're aware um purely because i just feel it's the quickest one you know you might have others that you prefer to use but it's entirely down to yourself at the end of the day you know you can pick whichever one you want I just always go for this one and because I use this one so often obviously I, you start to know the route you start to know the corners and whatnot so it's actually quite helpful just to stick with one you know and you can do two different ones or both the same it's entirely down yourself but obviously unfortunately we cannot create blueprints uh, for street scene events which is a bit of a bummer but it doesn't matter you know it will take you five minutes or so to complete these two races and of course you can do it on whatever difficulty you want it really doesn't matter so it doesn't have to be on expert like most of the um sort of weekly playlist ones do i think it's highly skilled but it can be on novice if you want it really doesn't matter whatever helps you get it done as quickly as possible is the way i really see it um so all you have to do yeah is win two of those street scene events another nice and easy challenge now the next one just wants you to earn 10 ultimate near miss skills um and this can be accomplished very easily on the motor what I also recommend doing is hopping into Horizon Solo. Um, the reason being there is a lot more AI traffic for you to run into um, and it will just help you out. So if you are sort of in a multiplayer lobby, there won't be as many AI cars as which I'm sure you guys will notice. But as soon as you hop into a solo one, uh, you'll see plenty popping up. Now, what I recommend doing is driving on the wrong side of the road because obviously the vehicles coming towards you will be going at a certain speed. And as long as you're doing something over like 150 mile an hour, you will get the ultimate near miss skills whereas when you're on the correct side of the road and overtaking cars uh, obviously they're going sort of i don't know 60 70 mile an hour so you have to drive at a higher uh, speed in order to get the ultimate speed uh, the ultimate near miss skill uh, which makes it a little bit trickier um, because there's still not a ton of cars on the road as it is but definitely hop on the other side of the motorway uh, and just get those near miss skills it's great obviously sort of at night time or whatever because you can see the car lights and where they are um a little less so during the day but it's actually really really easy as you can see here i think i get well over 10 um in a short period of time so it'll only take you a couple of minutes to achieve that but anyway guys i hope this video helped you out uh, if it did don't forget i would very much appreciate if you dropped a like and if you subscribe for more content just like this and a massive thank you guys all the best and take care